The Sinhalese script Sinhalese, Simhala Aksara Malava is an alphabet better, a writing system used by the Sinhalese people and most Sri Lankans in Sri Lanka and elsewhere to write the Sinhalese language, as well as the liturgical languages Pali and Sanskrit. The Sinhalese Aksara Malava, one of the Brahmic scripts, is a descendant of the ancient Indian Brahmi script and closely related to the South Indian Grantha script and Kadamba alphabet. The Sinhalese script is an abugida written from left to right. Sinhalese letters are ordered into two sets. The core set of letters forms the Sudha Simhala alphabet, pure Sinhalese, IMG, which is a subset of the Misra Simhala alphabet, mixed Sinhalese, IMG. Topic: History. Topic: The Sinhalese script is a Brahmi derivate and was imported from northern India around the 3rd century BC, but was influenced at various stages by South Indian scripts, manifestly influenced by the early Grantha script. There have been found potteries in Anuradhapura from the 6th century BC, with lithic inscription dating from 2nd century BC written in Prakrit. By the 9th century AD, literature written in Sinhalese script had emerged and the script began to be used in other contexts. For instance, the Buddhist literature of the Theravada Buddhists of Sri Lanka, written in Pali, used the Sinhalese alphabet. In 1736 the Dutch were the first to print with Sinhalese type on the island. The resulting type followed the features of that of the native Sinhala script practiced on palm leaves. The Dutch created type was monolinear and geometric in fashion with no separation between words in early documents. During the second half of the 19th century, during the colonial period, a new style of Sinhalese letterforms emerged in opposition to the monolinear and geometric form being high contrast in appearance and having varied thicknesses. This high contrast type gradually replaced the monolinear type as the preferred style which continues to be used in the present day. The high contrast style is still preferred for text typesetting in printed newspapers, books and magazines in Sri Lanka. Today, the alphabet is used by greater than 16 million people to write the Sinhalese language in very diverse contexts, such as newspapers, TV commercials, government announcements, graffiti, and schoolbooks. Sinhala is the main language written in this script, but rare instances of Sri Lanka Malay are recorded. Topic. Structure. Topic. The Sinhalese script is an abugida written from left to right. It uses consonants as the basic unit for word construction as each consonant has an inherent vowel, a, which can be changed with a different vowel stroke. To represent different sounds it is necessary to add vowel strokes, or diacritics called, pili, that can be used before, after, above or below the base consonant. Most of the Sinhalese letters are curlicues, straight lines are almost completely absent from the alphabet, and does not have joining characters. This is because Sinhala used to be written on dried palm leaves, which would split along the veins on writing straight lines. This was undesirable, and therefore, the round shapes were preferred. Upper and lower cases do not exist in Sinhalese. Sinhalese letters are ordered into two sets. The core set of letters forms the Sudha Simhala alphabet, pure Sinhalese. IMG, which is a subset of the Misra Simhala alphabet mixed Sinhalese, IMG. This pure alphabet contains all the graphemes necessary to write alu classical Sinhalese as described in the classical grammar Siddhatsan, Gera 1300 AD. This is the reason why this set is also called alu hodia, alu alphabet, IMG. The definition of the two sets is thus a historic one. Out of pure coincidence, the phoneme inventory of present-day colloquial Sinhala is such that yet again the Sudha alphabet suffices as a good representation of the sounds. All native phonemes of the Sinhala spoken today can be represented in Sudha, while in order to render special Sanskrit and Pali sounds, one can fall back on Misra Simhala. This is most notably necessary for the graphemes for the Middle Indic phonemes that the Sinhalese language lost during its history, such as aspirates. Most phonemes of the Sinhalese language can be represented by a Sudha letter or by a Misra letter, but normally only one of them is considered correct. This one to many mapping of phonemes onto graphemes is a frequent source of misspellings. While a phoneme can be represented by more than one grapheme, each grapheme can be pronounced in only one way. This means that the actual pronunciation of a word is always clear from its orthographic form. Topic diacritics topic In Sinhala the diacritics are called pili vowel strokes. Diga means long because the vowel is sounded for longer and deka means two because the stroke is doubled when written. 
Topic non vocalic diacritics topic the anusvara often called binduva 0 is represented by one small circle unicode od82 and the visarga technically part of the misra alphabet by two unicode od83 the inherent vowel can be removed by a special varama diacritic the hal kirima which has two shapes depending on which consonant it attaches to both are represented in the image on the right side the first one is the most common one, while the second one is used for letters ending at the top left corner. Topic letters topic topic Suda set topic The Suda graphemes are the mainstay of the Sinhalese script and are used on an everyday basis. Every sequence of sounds of the Sinhalese language of today can be represented by these graphemes. Additionally, the Suda set comprises graphemes for retroflexin, which are no longer phonemic in modern Sinhala. These two letters were needed for the representation of alu, but are now obsolete from a purely phonemic view. However, words which historically contain these two phonemes are still often written with the graphemes representing the retroflex sounds. Topic vowels Topic Vowels come in two shapes, independent and diacritic. The independent shape is used when a vowel does not follow a consonant, e.g. at the beginning of a word. The diacritic shape is used when a vowel follows a consonant. Depending on the vowel, the diacritic can attach at several places. The diacritic for i attaches above the consonant, the diacritic for u attaches below, the diacritic for follows, while the diacritic for e precedes. O finally is marked by the combination of preceding e and following. While irregular, the diacritic for u takes a different shape according to the consonant it attaches to. The most common one is represented on the image on the right for the consonant, p. The K shape is used for some consonants ending at the lower right corner, K, G, T, but not, N, or, H. Combinations of, R, or, L, with U have idiosyncratic shapes. Topic consonants topic The Suda alphabet comprises eight plosives, two fricatives, two affricates, two nasals, two liquids and two glides. Additionally, there are the two graphemes for the retroflex sounds, and, which are not phonemic in modern Sinhala, but which still form part of the set. These are shaded in the table. The voiceless affricate, t, a, is not included in the Suda set by purists since it does not occur in the main text of the Siddhatsan, Gera. The Siddhatsan, Gera does use it in examples though, so this sound did exist in Alu. In any case, it is needed for the representation of modern Sinhala. The basic shapes of these consonants carry an inherent, a, unless this is replaced by another vowel or removed by the Hal Kirima. Prenasalized consonants Topic. The prenasalized consonants resemble their plain counterparts. M, B is made up by the left half of M and the right half of B, while the other three are just like the grapheme for the plosive with a little stroke attached to their left. Vowel diacritics attach in the same way as they would to the corresponding plain plosive. Topic. Misra set. Topic. The Misra alphabet is a superset of Suda. It adds letters for aspirates, retroflexes and sibilants, which are not phonemic in today's Sinhala, but which are necessary to represent non-native words, like loanwords from Sanskrit, Pali or English. The use of the extra letters is mainly a question of prestige. From a purely phonemic point of view, there is no benefit in using them, and they can be replaced by a sequence of Suda letters as follows. For the Misra aspirates, the replacement is the plain Suda counterpart, for the Misra retroflex liquids, the corresponding Suda coronal liquid, for the sibilants, S, Nu, and Gn cannot be represented by Suda graphemes but are found only in fewer than ten words each. Fa can be represented by Pa with a Latin F inscribed in the cup. Topic. Vowels Topic. There are six additional vocalic diacritics in the Misra alphabet. The two diphthongs are quite common, while the syllabic R is much rarer, and the syllabic L is all but obsolete. The latter are almost exclusively found in loanwords from Sanskrit. The Misra can be also be written with Suda R plus U or U plus R, which corresponds to the actual pronunciation. The Misra syllabic is obsolete, but can be rendered by Suda L plus I. Misra O is rendered as Suda AWU, Misra I as Suda AYI. Note that the transliteration of both and is. This is not very problematic as the second one is extremely scarce. Topic. Consonants 
Topic. Topic. Consonant conjuncts. Topic. Certain combinations of graphemes trigger special ligatures. Special signs exist for an r following a consonant inverted arch underneath, a r preceding a consonant loop above, and a y following a consonant half a on the right. Furthermore, very frequent combinations are often written in one stroke, like ddh, kv or ks. If this is the case, the first consonant is not marked with a halkirima. The image on the left shows the glyph for shri, which is composed of the letter s with a ligature indicating the r below and the vowel i marked above. Most other conjunct consonants are made with an explicit varama, called al lacuna or hal kirima, and the zero width joiner is shown in the following table, some of which may not display correctly due to limitations of your system. Some of the more common are displayed in the following table. Note that although modern Sinhala sounds are not aspirated, aspiration is marked in the sound where it was historically present to highlight the differences in modern spelling. Also note that all of the combinations are encoded with the all lacuna Unicode U plus ODCA first, followed by the zero width joiner Unicode U plus 200D except for touching letters which have the zero width joiner Unicode U plus 200D first followed by the all lacuna Unicode U plus ODCA. Touching letters were used in ancient scriptures but are not used in modern Sinhala. Vowels may be attached to any of the ligatures formed, attaching to the rightmost part of the glyph except for vowels that use the kambhava, where the kambhava is written before the ligature or cluster and the remainder of the vowel, if any, is attached to the rightmost part. In the table below, appending O, kambhava saha elapilla, kambhava with elapilla to the cluster, Kentucky, KJA, only adds a single code point, but adds two vowel strokes, one each to the left and right of the consonant cluster. Topic. Letter names Topic. The letters of the English alphabet have more or less arbitrary names, e.g. M for the letter M or B for the letter B. The Sinhala Sutta graphemes are named in a uniform way adding yana to the sound produced by the letter, including vocalic diacritics. The name for the letter, is thus ayana, for the letter, ayana, for the letter, kayana, for the letter, kayana, for the letter, kiana and so forth. For letters with hal kirima, an epithetic a is added for easier pronunciation. The name for the letter is akiana. Another naming convention is to use al before a letter with suppressed vowel, thus alkayana. Since the extra misra letters are phonetically not distinguishable from the suda letters, proceeding in the same way would lead to confusion. Names of misra letters are normally made up of the names of two suda letters pronounced as one word. The first one indicates the sound, the second one the shape. For example, the aspirated kh is called bayanu kayana. Kayana indicates the sound, while bayanu indicates the shape. Kh is similar in shape to b. Bayanu equals like bayana. Another method is to qualify the misra aspirates by mahaprana, mahaprana kayana, and the misra retroflexes by murdaja, murdaja layana. Topic: <laughs> Stroke order. Topic. Each Sinhalese letter has a specific stroke order and method of writing. Topic. Numerals and symbols Topic. Sinhalese had special symbols to represent numerals, which were in use until the beginning of the 19th century. This system is now superseded by Hindu-Arabic numeral system. Sinhala ilakam Sinhala archaic numbers Sinhala ilakam were used for writing numbers prior to the fall of Kandian kingdom in 1815. These digits did not have a zero instead the numbers had signs for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1000. These digits and numbers can be seen primarily in royal documents and artifacts. Sinhala lith ilakam Sinhala astrological numbers prior to the fall of Kandian kingdom all calculations were carried out using lith digits after the fall of the Kandian kingdom Sinhala lith ilakam were primarily used for writing horoscopes however there is evidence that they were used for other purposes such as writing page numbers etc the tradition of writing degrees and minutes of zodiac signs in horoscopes continued into the 20th century using different versions of lith digits Unlike the Sinhala ilakam, Sinhala lith ilakam included a zero. 
neither the Sinhala numerals nor U plus ODF4. Sinhalese punctuation Kundalia is in general use today. The Kundalia was formerly used as a full stop. Transliteration Topic. Sinhala transliteration Sinhala. Roma Akoran Livima, literally, Roman letter writing, can be done in analogy to Devanagari transliteration. Layman's transliterations in Sri Lanka normally follow neither of these. Vowels are transliterated according to English spelling equivalences, which can yield a variety of spellings for a number of phonemes. I, for instance can be E, E, A, A, I, etc. A transliteration pattern peculiar to Sinhala, and facilitated by the absence of phonemic aspirates, is the use of th for the voiceless dental plosive, and the use of t for the voiceless retroflex plosive. This is presumably because the retroflex plosive is perceived the same as the English alveolar plosive t, and the Sinhala dental plosive t is equated with the English voiceless dental fricative theta. Dental and retroflex voiced plosives are always rendered as d, though, presumably because dh is not found as a representation of in English orthography. Topic. Relation to other scripts Topic. Similarity Sinhala is one of the Brahmic scripts, and thus shares many similarities with other members of the family, such as the Kannada, Malayalam, Telugu, Tamil script, and Devanagari. As a general example, A is the inherent vowel in all these scripts. Other similarities include the diacritic for I, which resembles a doubled E in all scripts and the diacritic for O which is composed of preceding E and following. Likewise, the combination of the diacritics for E and yields O in all these scripts. Different Sesenhala alphabet differs from other Indo-Aryan alphabets in that it contains a pair of vowel sounds U plus ODD0 and U plus ODD1 in the proposed Unicode standard that are unique to it. These are the two vowel sounds that are similar to the two vowel sounds that occur at the beginning of the English words at, an ant. Another feature that distinguishes Sinhala from its sister Indo-Aryan languages is the presence of a set of five nasal sounds known as half-nasal or prenasalized stops. Topic. Computer encoding Topic. Generally speaking, Sinhala support is less developed than support for Devanagari for instance. A recurring problem is the rendering of diacritics which precede the consonant and diacritic signs which come in different shapes, like the one for U. Sinhala does not come built in with Windows XP, unlike Tamil and Hindi. However, all versions of Windows Vista and Windows 10 come with Sinhala support by default, and do not require external fonts to be installed to read Sinhalese script. Nirmala UI is the default Sinhala font in Windows 10. For Mac OS X, Sinhala font and keyboard support can be found at web.nickshanks.com slash topography slash and at www.xenotypetech.com slash osksinhala.html. For Linux, the IBUs, and SIM input methods allow the use Sinhalese script in applications with support for a number of key maps and techniques such as traditional, phonetic and assisted techniques. In addition, newer versions of Android mobile operating system also support both rendering and input of the Sinhala script. Topic. Unicode Topic. Sinhalese script was added to the Unicode standard in September 1999 with the release of version 3.0. This character allocation has been adopted in Sri Lanka as the standard SLS1134. The main Unicode block for Sinhala is U plus OD80 U plus ODFF. Another block, Sinhala Archaic Numbers, was added to Unicode in version 7.0.0 in June 2014. Its range is U plus 111 EO U plus 111 FF. Topic. See also. Topic. Sinhalese Braille. History of Sinhala software. Singlish typewriter. Loanwords. Dutch loanwords in Sinhala. English loanwords in Sinhala. Portuguese loanwords in Sinhala. Tamil loanwords in Sinhala Topic. References 
Topic. Topic. Further reading. Topic. Daniels, Peter T. 1996. Sinhala Alphabet. The World's Writing Systems. Oxford, UK: Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-507993-0. Fairbanks, G. W., J. W. Gare, M. W. S. D. Silva, 1968. Colloquial Sinhalese, Sinhala. Ithaca, N. Y.: South Asia Program, Cornell University. Gare, J. W., John C. Paolillo, 1997. Sinhala. Munchen, Newcastle, South Asia Program, Cornell University. Geiger, Wilhelm. 1995. A Grammar of the Sinhalese Language. New Delhi, AES Reprint. Jayawadina Moser, Primalatha. Grundwortschatz Singalesisch, Deutsch. 3 ed. Wiesbaden, Harasowitz. Karunadalek, W. S. An Introduction to Spoken Sinhala. Several New Editions, ed. Colombo. Matzel, Klaus 1983. Einfring in die Singalesische Sprache. Wiesbaden, Harrisowitz. Image list for readers with font problems Carrot 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 Topic. External links Topic. Scripts ISO 15924 Sinhala Sinhala Unicode characters Sinhala Unicode characters Sinhala Unicode character code chart Sinhala Archaic Numbers Unicode character code chart Complete table of consonant diacritic combinations online resource Sinhala Guide of the Sinhalese Wikipedia in English Online Sinhala Unicode Writer Sinhala English Dictionary and Sinhala to Hindi Language Translator Sinhala Unicode Support Group Online Unicode Converter